got to luxury living We know the way to make you feel like a million Opening doors, we take you to higher ceilings Hey, Steve Zonard here with Treviso Realty I want to give you a quick update on Verdana Village uh, We just, I actually just watched the full meeting 118 minutes of the board members And also the future uh, Verdana Village They're going to talk about the Master Association I'm just reading off of, of a list of um, uh, items I've just documented here. So basically the, the association fees have gone up. I'm going to go through all of this. There's some new hires going. The planned uh, opening of the restaurant, which is cool. Also West Village, when they're, gonna, when they're finally going to do the vertical uh, construction, which is shortly. We'll talk a little bit about the commercial sector, the, which is Verdana Shops at the mouth of Verdana Village. Um, Neighborhood update, basically how many homes sold, how many are under construction, how many are now into phase two. Um, that's it. And some other minor details, stuff like that. But let's let's start it off. So uh, just watch, the, again, full full uh, meeting, hour and 18 minutes, uh, Camerata development. These are, they look like cousins. They're like, you know, Italian guys, right? So it's nice to kind of have them there. These are the... Um, the master behind the plan development and they're also the board of directors so they're basically getting this together and sailing this on so they're basically making changes on the fly when things need to be corrected uh, looks like a good group of guys and, and girls there really enjoyed uh, watching that um, yeah just a quick update so the master association raised a four percent so it's gonna be like seven dollars per month per house uh, going forward it's broken up into a, all different categories like staffing is, is the big uh, increase there and then there's water sewer and gas but what I'll do is I'll have a link to all this information you can kind of go into it for for a further breakdown sorry for that ringing that's um, the house we're building we have a camera construction camera because um, one day I want to be sitting on the other side of that webinar just like the cameras um, so that's pretty much it so they got a new hire going forward so we've got a, a lifestyle director which is awesome we need it we need it desperately we need somebody to organize events uh, it's a little bit hokey right now not you know it is what it is uh, obviously it's out of the ground uh, type community but now we have a um, lifestyle director so which is that cool that's going to be cool hopefully they can get some cool events uh, we obviously sell in other communities and i'm, I'm kind of like timber creek is actually pretty cool they have a cool um, um lifestyle director there and there's always events always something bringing the community together so i hope uh kelly Rhodes, which was starting november 1st will uh, have this going for us in Verdana Village because again I'm always busy always working don't have enough time to kind of get into the community nor look at the events if there's exciting stuff my my kids will come and we can kind of hang out which would be greater um, so there's the, the, the sports center that I mean they, they have the originally now uh, used to be a, um, a gentleman named Pat that got into I think it was car accident he went on uh, personal leave he's gonna be back now a sports center monitor um, and then the other facility, facility uh, sports director will stay. That's Jim. Jim, and then Ben will continue as a tennis pro, which is great. They're they're both really cool guys. I did a little skit with them, uh, pit, pit ball, uh, pickleball skit with them. Uh, the restaurant. I'm gonna fly through this because that was an hour and 18 minutes. I want to do this in like seven. So the planned opening of the restaurant December 27th, which would be amazing. Um, we'll see what happens for New Year's. It'd be nice to kind of stay in the community instead of driving out. That'd be quite fun. Um, also, that's going to be, think about it, a lot of family and friends are going to be in town. If there's a bar, uh, you know, down the road where you can ride your bike or a golf cart, it's going to be a lot a lot of fun, especially during the holidays, which would be cool. Um so they're going to be so the month of December they're going to be print they're it's it's all hands on deck and we've walked the property many times they're preparing for furniture um the staff and training and they've hired or they're flirting with a few uh head chefs right now executive chefs um so hopefully they get one hired very shortly and then they want to get one hired which would make total sense that the head chef will kind of have direction while the finishing process of the restaurant is going forward so we have a, a good um, you know, take on how things should be and how he'd, he or she would want them, which would be great. Uh, West Village, that's basically phase one where I live. Um, the They're talking about the uh, West Village facility there, the amenity center. 
they're right now i actually driven the site just recently they're they're basically doing the waterworks right now like all the uh plumbing and draining currently right now like the mechanical section of it um they'll be ready they, they said there's a permitting issue right now it's ongoing so next three to four weeks they'll be breaking ground vertically so that's obviously that precast i'm not sure if that's going to be precast if it's large enough it could be concrete block but anyway when they start the vertical construction um Quick update on the commercial sector of Verdana. This is Verdana Shops. So there's going to be a nail salon opening in November. Uh, UPS store is in permitting phase, which is great. I mean, I do a lot of printing with real estate, so that's going to be nice to have there also. Uh, packaging, I'm building stuff like Vespas and stuff, so it's always something that's going to be perfect for me. The hair salon uh, leases out for signing, so that'll be in shortly, hopefully. Um, Dunkin' Donuts is they're targeting Jan Feb, so first quarter of next year to open. There's going to be a physical therapy office, which would be good for us too, as my, my daughter's in competitive dance, so that would be a good spot. New York pizza and pasta, um, cool, that would be nice. Obviously, have like a small little uh, secondary restaurant to head to, especially on a Friday night if you don't feel like cooking. Um, dental office, which would be great. Um, the, the Fifth Third Bank is there's going to be they're going to be opening. It's a freestanding building, so I think that's going to be either I don't know which parcel they're going to place it on, but that's going to be a freestanding building, um, which would be cool. There's an ad additional restaurant in discussions, no sign leased yet. Hopefully that's could be uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens. It'd be nice to have like an outdoor bar and stuff like that. Um, there's a few out parcels. They have some more land. I think it's on the opposite side, like the east side of where Publix is there's there could be um they're thinking that there's two they can considering combining two for two for a large ten and possibly another big restaurant so hopefully that's cool uh neighborhood updates this is information I love because obviously I sell real estate um so there's 870 homes built currently in the west phase uh that's 36 percent of the entire area so that's phase one and two remember we're 2400 houses so if you kind of look at phase one, um, I mean, if there's 870 and there's 1,200, what does that equate to? Um, it's like 73% complete in phase one, and there's 181 homes under construction currently right now. So that's basically, they say they're under contract. I'm not sure if there's, there could be a lot of spec homes in there too, but there's 181 homes under construction. So if we're at 870 plus 181... Uh, we'll be at 1,050, so 150 left. So again, I, like I'm trying to sell the rest of this to my clients that, that, that want to move into Verdana. I think phase one is going to be, um, just remember, you're going to be not in construction. Like phase two, you're going to be in construction for obviously multiple more years. So you're in the tail end of phase one. You won't be in construction, which would be great, um, but also probably better for pricing and construction. So it's up to you. Um, phase two, there's... 30 homes in, in production currently right now. Um, if you kind of look there, a lot of the villas are getting done and also Hinkley, that main road is, is under construction. We fly by there with the Vespa to take a quick look. Um, phase three and four, which is gonna be, that's basically uh, pod two as they call it. And that's phase, that's village, uh, East Village rather. So phase three is, is approved, phase four is um, underway. So by end of the year, they'll have, the, have that approved and ready to sell clearly currently. Um, other announcements, the food and beverage minimum, that $400, $480 fee that we signed up for, that'll be exclusively for the restaurant and cafe start. That fee will start in Jan 1st, um, of next year. So Q1. So remember you got to use this. This is not going to roll over. It's not like you're going to build points where you don't use 500 this year and you get another 500 next year. So you have a thousand to spend. You need to use this. Obviously this is for the restaurant to keep everything viable, which makes total sense because if we didn't have this, you know, you'd have a ghost town and then maybe not have uh, a restaurant when you want it. So this is obviously good, good planning. Uh, playground canopy, the permits in, in, improved. They're going to do the install before Thanksgiving, which is great. Um, they mentioned it too. They did it obviously after hurricane season because imagine they had to like put it up then put it down. And remember, anything that this, that happens here is basically out of our pocket. So you got to protect like the HOA. It's like you're spending your own money here. You can't just be frivolous with this either because... If you if you if you know about real estate, the higher your amenity fees are, the HOA fees, the lower prices your houses are going to be in the future. So you got to make sure that we're all, you know, everyone's kind of being diligent with this too. Um, they, they mentioned the construction trailers are going to be moving to phase two year end, which is cool. Again, phase one coming to a to come into a close, we'll have full no construction. 
Um, and if you know about that, like nail pops and, and tires, I, I got a, a few cars. I got a 911 with like three <laughs> literally holes in them. I got to plug them myself um, on a weekly basis, but it's okay. It's all good. It's part of being in a new construction site, right? Um, yeah, they said executive chef, they're ne nearing a hire. That'd be great. Hopefully it's it's someone that's energetic, creative, and, and going to make like a great experience. We've we've eaten at Wild Blue a few times, and I like that place. It's just, I think it's like a real a restaurant experience. It's packed on the weekends, which is nice. I hope for Dan it gets to that point too, where the uh, community gets out and we can all hang out, right, and have a few drinks. Um, the amenity walkway, which is important to me on a personal level because I, we go to the gym quite early, 6 a.m., and walking through the uh, where the bocce courts are is, is severely dark, which I'm okay with, But and it's obviously that long process you have to walk around. So having those amenity walkway opened up in the next three weeks is awesome. I like that. Um, I know there's there's... I don't know who it is, but they're driving through our gates, which I, it doesn't make sense to me. Like you're scratching your car. I don't get it unless you have some bars in the front. But um, even the other home that we all own in Fort Myers is like they just drive through them, which is it doesn't make sense. It never made sense to me. But anyway, they're going to put two cameras there, uh, share its department. So whoever's doing that, you you better get your fun out of out of um, out now before those cameras come in, because then it's probably be a felony at that point. Um, they're going to have a, a restaurant job fair going forward, so that's cool. People living in the area, um, college kids, stuff like that. It might be cool to have a, a job nearby. You can walk to uh, to work, which is great. Um, the resident gates, obviously right now we have construction going on, so I'm on the resident gate. On, that's the one I use because it's closest to home. Is is open during the day and then it closes uh, at night. I believe it closes at 7, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so that's going to be... The West Gate's open for 12 months, closing second amenity center completion. Um, East Gate remaining section. Yeah, so they're going to be closing in 12, 12 months. Uh, West Gate opens for 12 months. I, I don't know what I wrote here, but it's. I think it's going to be open for another year, and then it'll be closed and then moved off into the East uh, Village. Um, the facility hours for the restaurant and the craft lounge will be closed Monday, Tuesdays, which makes total sense. You don't want staff uh, being burnt out, and also you don't want to be burning our HOA dollars. So that makes total sense because those are dead days. Uh, but the cafe will be open seven days if that's if you need to get something to eat or drink. Uh, infrastructure updates the Alico widening, which is cool. Um, the scheduled completion by spring of next year. So that's that's great news for us. Um, commuters because we drive our kids into Benita and it's it's a little bit of a hassle to get up and down that corkscrew so the wider the better clearly um, there was an because there's a there's question and, and answers after so it's quite funny because people you know they type in their um, their questions some of them are angry some are not but they were talking about the pool hall monitors report issues with, uh, so the pool hall monitors it is a little bit of it's uncomfortable to, to be honest but after watching this sort of makes sense um, yeah, you got to show your ID when you're in there now. Obviously, people abuse it. You got to always blame the people. It's like high insurance rates. It's always the people that kind of, you know, do something um, to claim to do extra claims, and then ultimately we're paying high insurance. And this is clearly what happened here. So, so they had to hire um, the pool hall monitors, as they call them. So they'll check your IDs when you come in, make sure you're a resident of the community, and then ultimately they don't want you drinking in in the pool, which um sucks clearly but we're not in in cancun so we can't do that but ultimately there was issues and i and, and i wanted to know why but there was supposedly um a resident in the community 13 years old gave his key pass to i think some some kids from the local areas they they would come in and this so they said they jumped the fence but i'm not sure but then they would drink in the hot tub um and get drunk so obviously there's liability issues there the only the only Thing, if you really think about it and they mentioned it if they get caught um and they get fined and that pulls the liquor permit from our restaurant and um our cafe that's going to be a huge issue that'll be it's almost like reason for moving to be honest at that point so i cannot understand where they're coming from with that and then also what they're saying is too with the umbrellas like after you're done you should close them which i'm guilty of that sometimes i say, see them open i don't touch them but and then also people are not cleaning up after themselves so that's why they have now like staff in the in the pool area where they'll close the umbrellas after you leave and then also if there's a mess they're gonna they're gonna put it away for you which doesn't make sense if you're making a mess you should do it yourself 
Um, that's pretty much it. Just a quick update on Verdana Village. Obviously, we live here. We want to make sure this place is amazing. We I got some luxury living. We know the way to make you feel like a million. Opening doors, we take you to higher ceilings.